Oh, is it gonna fall? <laughs> hey everyone, we are headed back from first floor. We had such a fun weekend that we want to share with you. Whenever we go down there, it's always crazy. Everyone is just so nice, so welcoming, and it's just such a community and such a family, literally. Yeah, it's also, it's a really cool experience because a lot of times in CrossFit and fitness, these large, these gatherings that we do, whether it's the games or uh, like Rogue coming up, it's all CrossFitters more or less. And when we do go out to First Form, they've got athletes of all kinds of different sports and we get to meet a lot of different types of people, whether it's weightlifting, powerlifting, uh, bodybuilding, just any sport, gymnastics, there's all kinds of crazy talented people from different sports domains. So it's really fun to get to hang out and see see what they do and what they train like also. Yeah, I love just asking the questions. But we did wake up super early because even though we had an awesome weekend, one, we want to get back to Milo. You guys know how much we love him. And two, we need to cut the grass, go to the grocery, prep our food because we are just about two weeks out from Rogue, actually a little less. And that was a little bit stressful traveling down knowing that I've got a big competition coming up in two weeks, but we were able to make that work because First Form has an amazing gym and also just an electric environment because everybody's there to work hard. So we started the weekend, we had an awesome dinner on Friday, got to see everybody, talk to everyone. Speaking of Rogue, for those of you guys keeping up, uh, with the Bitcoin prize purse, Bitcoin is up big time. So it's kind of exciting, uh, especially with like the timing of whatever happening with Rogue, seems like it's good. It's gonna be good for the prize purse. Hopefully it stays up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we then got to do an awesome training session and you know, there's what, 150 people there probably in the gym, maybe even more, I don't know. But the gym is huge, like you've got plenty of space in there. And so we decided to come up with a solid team workout. So I actually started the morning with a 20 second EMOM on the rower of 40 seconds, moderate to hard, 20 seconds rest. So I got about, I don't know, 250 plus calories in, got a nice good sweat, and then I hopped into the team workout because there's just something about that community building and that family that you definitely want to be part of, and I didn't want to skip out on that. So the team workout, Pat helped create. Yeah, it was <laughs> um, it was fun too because their gym is huge. They've got a full-size basketball court, so there's people playing basketball. Uh, they've got like a full, like normal conventional gym in there, full of like gym equipment, so there's people over there, people on the treadmills, people lifting and squatting, like there's stuff just going on everywhere. And then we had like 32 people, I think, 30-ish people for a group workout, so we did teams of five. Then we started off with a 4,000 meter row. Some people were on bike ergs. Our team was actually on a ski erg. And so we went 4,000 meters there, switching every about 200 meters. Then we did, what was, what was the next one? Dumbbell thrusters, 200 was, dumbbell thrusters. Two, two people working at a time, so kind of synchro. And then we went to- 100 burpees over a person in a plank. So somebody, two people were doing a plank and then two people were doing burpees over their partner while one person was resting. Then the next movement, yeah, it was um, sit-ups. 100 sit-ups. Then it was 200 dumbbell snatch. Yep. And then what did we do? Jumping lunges. Yeah, then we had 100 jumping lunges, and then it was back to the... Then we finished with another 4,000 meters, which was really fun. The bulk of the workout was definitely on the erg, and I think it took us around an hour or so. Yeah, it's about it was a 60-minute workout. workout. Everybody definitely got their fill there. Um, but it was super fun. We had all kinds of different people. Not everybody was CrossFitters, so people were just jumping in to have fun and the experience. Everybody's super open-minded there. So that was a total blast. And afterwards, Christy did a little bit extra lifting, making sure that we are prepared and we're not kind of skipping out on things for the road. Yeah, I think it's just so... Once we got that group workout done, I had a little bit more time, so I went. I wanted to make sure I got my strength work in, because you guys know I am a smaller athlete, and so trying to make sure that I don't skip the strength, because I love the running, I love the burpees, I love the cardio and the conditioning, but the strength for me is just a little bit more challenging. So it's something that's always a work in progress. So if I have to prioritize, I always go for the strength work. So I hit a behind the neck, behind the neck jerk double, just working on my overhead position. I like to go from behind the neck, just changes it up. It also takes a little bit of pressure off of the front of the shoulders because the bar is already behind your head. So it took 10 minutes to work to a heavy double. Then I squeezed in some fours on deadlifts at a moderate to heavy working weight with some accessory in between, and I superset those just for efficiency of time. It's a reverse lunge from a deficit plus a high knee drive, just focusing on squeezing your butt of the leg that's on the plate and working on that extension. And then from there, I was able to squeeze in a quick little high intensity EMOM. So I got the, the rowing and the longer workout with the group and then the high intensity EMOM we actually will post. And so that was an eight rounder of every two minutes, 
six deadlifts, 12 bar facing burpees, one legless rope climb, one regular rope climb. And the goal was to be about a minute on, a minute off. Deadlift weight, I used 245. So something that's like moderately heavy that but you can hit your six touch and go, but maybe rep five and six start to get a little bit heavy towards that six, seven, and eight. So that was really great. I was really happy with being able to get that amount of work, of work in while on the road. But you know, it would have been very easy to not get that in because everybody's having fun and hanging out. It's like after that group workout, I did feel good, but I knew for me that definitely wasn't enough. So we did, we got a little break after that, but the reason we were out there was actually go to the first form fall fest, which is on a farm that Andy owns. Uh, so it was like a, and they held it more or less like a private fair. Like it was super fun, um, completely catered. They had a Ferris wheel there. They had a petting zoo for the kids. They had hot air balloon rides that were like tethered down to the ground. So we weren't like actually floating around, but you'd actually take it up, hang out for a little bit and then come back down. They had a huge bonfire that all kinds of like fair type games, like throwing the, what's that one where you like throw the ball at the pins? Oh yeah, I don't know what it's called. the gun. But it's like, like carnival. Like it was yeah. basically like a carnival, it private carnival. It was totally wild. It was out in the middle of nowhere and it felt like its own little private uh, fair that they put on, which was just super cool. It was intimate, super low key, but everybody's just extremely nice and welcoming and friendly. And it's a great environment to hang out in. What do you think of the balloon ride? The balloon ride was really fun. It makes me want to do the hot air balloons. They had it tethered down so you could only go so high. Um, I think GPS says we're going to take a left up here soon. But uh, we could only go so high, so it was, it was just like you got that feeling of being in a hot air balloon but not actually going on the full trip. So I definitely want to do one again soon. I wasn't really scared at all. I thought it might be a little bit more nervous, but it was, it was pretty cool. If you guys are interested, not only do they make good products that we stand by and we do partner with them, but they're also just great people. Uh, you literally will get a handwritten note with anything that you order from them, and they are not a small company that you would expect to get something like that from. So we'll put a link below if you guys do want to check out what they've got. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned. We've got Rogue coming up. We've got some Christy, Christy's diet, Christy's eating schedule coming up as well. So if there's anything, always, if you guys do want to see, let us know in the comments below. And Coast to coast.